Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Crochet by Natalie Lucille and today I am so excited because we're entering into my favorite time of year, fall. So I'm going to show you how you can make these cute pumpkins. Now you can make them with any yarn, any color, any size, but I'm just going to give you the basics and we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm using tweed yarn. You can use any color. These are the two colors I'm using for the body and for the stem. You will need a tapestry needle and any size crochet hook. I'm using a G. So we're going to go ahead and get started, y'all. Fall being that it's my favorite season, one of my favorite colors of fall is mustard. So I was like, yeah, we're going to do a pumpkin today in the mustard. So start out by a slip knot and you're going to chain. You can make it as long as you want. I am chaining 20. And then one more. Boop. And then working in the second back ridge from the hook, you're going to work a half double crochet. And you're going to work a total of 20 half double crochets in the back ridge all the way to the end. And once you get to the end, it should look something like this. Chain two, turn your work, and then now you're going to work in the back loops only. And you're working your regular half double crochet in just the back loops. And that'll give it a textured ridge effect. Rip I guess ribbed effect if that's the word that I'm looking for and I decided that for the size pumpkin that I wanted to do is I going to be um, crocheting 26 rows you can do as many as you want but ke I'm keeping it on the even number 26 you can do 20 you can do 30 you can make it as big and as long as you want but everything is done in the back loops only so here is my 26 rows, counting just to make sure I do have 26, and you see that ribbed effect. I love it. And now you want to grab your tapestry needle, and you're going to cut a very long yarn tail, because we're going to be weaving that in in just a second, you'll see. So just kind of make it as long as you can. And just in case you hear some noises, my dog just joined me. So you may hear him in the background. So now you just want to finish off and just pull that through. And fold the short ends together. And you can probably hear my husband in the background. He's in the kitchen cooking brownies and he just um, yeehawed. So something must be good in the kitchen. So if you hear that, it is um, baking season two. So anyway, we're going to sew the ends together in just the back loops only. So you have your back loop and then the other loop that's closest to the inside. Does that make sense? So you're basically sewing in the inside loops. And you can slow the video down if need be, but basically you're sewing all the way down the side here to close up our little pumpkin. Just keep weaving it in. All the way down. And once you've done that, it should look like this. Now we're going to set our pumpkin aside and we're going to make the stem. Get any size hook you want, any color of yarn, any kind of yarn. And you can make it any size you want, but to make it like a little whirly twirl, I'll show you the technique that I used. So for mine, 
And you can see how it kind of like a little whirly twirl. So for the one that I'm doing today, and you can, again, make any length that you would like. So for mine, I'm going to chain 20. And again, it doesn't matter the number that you use. You can chain 10, you can chain 30, you can chain 17, it doesn't matter. And once you have done your chain, you're going to work in the ridges in the back and you're going to come down to the second um, chain ridge and you're going to work a single crochet. And again, in that same ridge, you're going to work another single crochet. So basically, in each ridge or stitch across, you're going to work two single crochets in each stitch. And because of that, it's going to start circling its way around and kind of makes this little curly Q stem. And just kind of keep working your way. Two single crochets in every stitch. Just work all the way down and then once you finish it should look something like this it looks long but when you tuck it into your pumpkin you'll lose some of its length you'll see cut off the end go ahead and finish off and none of the tails have to be cut you're not going to see them anyway they're going to be tucked in the pumpkin and just go ahead and tie a knot to secure everything The long stem like this kind of cracks me up. It's so wobbly. <laughs> it's just so funny looking. Um, but it works out and I like it. So grab your pumpkin. And now all you're going to do along the edge, you can tuck in your tail. It doesn't matter. You're not going to see it anyway. You're just going to weave in and out of the stitches because soon you're going to once you go all the way around then you're going to pull on the yarn and it what's the word I'm looking for I'm thinking shrink but that's not right it'll come to me probably at midnight but just weave in and out cinch that's the word I'm looking for it'll cinch it up in just a second and just lightly pull don't try and um use your muscles we're not here to do that today again just along that edge is just weaving in and out just lightly and just keep working all the way around oh, it's going to be such a cute little pumpkin and these make great gifts too just saying. And if you wanted to, when you fill it, you can even fill it with some lavender or even like use a cinnamon stick as a stem and it'll smell really nice. So once you've come all the way around, now it's time to cinch. You're just going to lightly pull just real nice and light and you see how the hole starts getting a little bit smaller and just kind of work your way maneuver it so the the hole does cinch up now when you do finish this before you start finishing up your pumpkin the hole will look kind of large and you're going to be upset but don't it all works out I'll show you so you just kind of cinch it up and then once you have cinched it now we're ready for our stuffing so grab your fiber fill, just like this. It's like a little cotton, it's lovely. And then 
go ahead and start stuffing. Oh, I almost meant to um, say when you, you might want to bring your yarn up through your pumpkin before you start stuffing. I kind of got ahead of myself, but um, I just now realized I need to put my yarn and I just kind of bring it up through the side. Just like that. And now just keep stuffing until you don't want it packed full. Um, because if you pack it too full, the yarn will stretch and all you, you just see, it looks like it's way too full. You just want a nice, you can always, as your grandma says, when you tried to get, you know, a recipe, you know, grandma, how'd you cook that? Oh, you just go by look and feel instead of getting like the full measurement. So you're just kind of getting the look and feel and just kind of play with it, squish it a little bit. You just want a nice soft pumpkin, not one that's stretched to the gills. So once you have stuffed it to your liking, grab your stem and just place it on the side here and don't worry like I said you're not going to worry about the tails because you're not going to see them anyway they're stuffed into the pumpkin so just kind of maneuver it down into your pumpkin grab your tapestry needle with your yarn and weaving through both the stem and the side of the pumpkin you're just going to go in from the center to the outside and this is just to secure it. You're going to secure it even more in the end. So take it, secure it. And then just bring it back through. It is, my stem looks so wobbly. It's so funny looking. Oh, it's the little things. And you're going to do the same thing. You're going to weave in and out and just real nice and loose, nothing tight, not yet that is. You'll see, just stay with me here. Just keep working it, in and out, just like you did the other side. Mm -hmm. And kind of stuff as you go, just make it easier for you. They have the little awfully <laughs> just oh my gosh. Okay, now that you've worked all the way around, it's time to cinch. And this is where all the magic starts to take place. And just kind of lightly tug on it, not too hard. Once you kind of cinch it through, you can see how the shape looks and this is what it kind of looks like when you start out you're thinking oh it's not right just kind of push the stem down just a little bit and so you'll cinch it and now you're going to with your tapestry needle going all the way through from the top to the bottom you see how the hole is still kind of big it'll get small here in just a second just make it come right on through and I try and grab some of the yarn on the side because you do want it to to close up the hole a little bit more but once you pull it now this is where you're going to start pulling a little bit tight but not too aggressively and see once you pull it down see how it gives it the pumpkin shape kind of hold it there in place as best as you can grab that yarn kind of get it to the center come back up from the bottom to the top and I try and grab my stem here and there because I want it to be a little bit more secure so you just kind of pull it up a little bit and just keep checking both sides see how it kind of tucks itself in there and then you go from again you just kind of secure it as best as you can top to bottom and I grab the yarn grab the stem just a little bit so it secures it in the center come back through the bottom and you want to pull every time you come through just pull a little bit tighter and then that way it gives it that pumpkin shape and it doesn't look like a ball so here we are at the bottom again kind of go through the side because I want that hole to be a little bit smaller 
And you're just going to keep going back and forth until you get the desired look that you want. But every time you come through and pull, it gives it a nice little pumpkin shape. And there's different ways that you can do pumpkins. This is one variation. If you do like this video and you want to see other variations, comment below and say, yes, I'd like to see more. And I will do more. Because y'all, it's almost fall. Oh, it is, it is getting close. But we are about done with our little pumpkin. I think it's turning out super cute. And just kind of weave it in. Still, oops, I forgot to put my yarn through my tapestry hook. I heard needle. Let's come back through. I want my hole to be a little bit smaller. And just kind of work its way back up. And that is it. Snip your yarn off and y'all, you got a cute little pumpkin. Look how cute he is. Oh, I want more. I must make more. I think it turned out real nice. The stem looks good. It's in there nice. But look, you can make them different colors, different sizes, just by um, alternating the number of rows and stitches that you do. And again, if you like this kind of video, comment below that if you'd like to see more pumpkins or ornaments or any kind of um, stuff like this, let me know. You can comment below or you can email me. The information is in the description box and any materials I use are in the description box. So I hope that you learned something new today and I hope you do enjoy